Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This, as you can tell by the title, will be my one year lock up day. I am so, so excited that we made it to a year. If you wanna hear all the details about my first year with Sister Locks, please stay tuned and we'll get right to the details. We are at a year. I am so excited. Like, I really cannot contain my excitement because if you guys have been following my journey for the past year and all of my updates, they have not always been positive. They have not always been this, this trust the process and I love them in every phase kind of journey, but we made it. I did not give up regardless of how I felt and I just... I'm so happy to be here at a year. Toward the end of this video, you will see a carousel of photos from the beginning of my sister lock journey until now. But for right now, I'm going to give you guys a 360 and then we'll dive into some details. So stay tuned. about my sister lock journey I got my hair locked in Tanzania in Dar es Salaam Tanzania on it was a two-day process so it was from December 20th and December 21st I went to Tanzania because I wanted to have a vacation as well as a great hair experience so before I decided I was going to go to Tanzania to give you guys just a little bit of background I was looking in my surrounding area I live in Chicago so I looked in Chicago Michigan Indiana, I looked in the surrounding places for myself and I could not find a consultant that was willing to do my install. Um, I was running into a lot of consultants that was not accepting installs at that time and I just did not want to wait months ahead of time to get my hair installed. Also, I'm a mom and my son was having his winter break like all the kids do so he had two weeks off and that was just going to be the perfect time to be able to dedicate two full days to my hair process which I do not have all the time. And I know my parents out there understand that. I had a, another set of locks, which I did myself. They were DIY. And I decided that I no longer wanted to keep that set of locks. They were growing beautifully. I'm gonna put a picture right here. <laughs> my parts were not even, I got really lazy. And the more they matured, the less versatile they became because my parts were all over the place. There were a lot of styles I couldn't do. Um, I just wasn't really feeling how uneven my parts were. Another reason why I decided to comb them out was because I wanted more volume over time. And again, while my hair was maturing beautifully and I was getting a lot of length very quickly, I was not getting the volume that I wanted within my lock journey. So I decided to comb them babies out. It took me two whole weeks. <laughs> and then I waited some months from August to December to get my sister locks installed. To give you guys Oh, a well-rounded view of what I've been doing for this year as I've been talking about in every video this is my spray bottle that I got from Amazon which is a nice mist spray bottle as you guys can see it doesn't come out really really harsh or anything and I've been using this and I've been using this which was recommended to me by my loctician she said that it is a really nice light oil um, that I can use in my hair because as you guys know with sister locks you are not supposed to be using a lot of oils because that can help your hair revert back and it's just not good for this process. I even dilute this with water. So if you look in here, see if I can focus, it's, it has a lot of water in here as well to break it down and make sure that it's not too heavy for my hair and causing a lot of residue. That is another reason why you're not supposed to use a lot of oils on your hair 
as you are going through the sister lock process. After about month five or six, I started washing my hair more than one time within the five week process that I was getting my hair retied. So for the first two retides that I had, we did every four weeks, but then I realized that I could actually go one more week. So we changed our cadence from four weeks to five weeks. So since that point, I've been doing every five weeks with my retides and that's like the perfect, perfect medium. My hair is not getting matted or anything, but four weeks was just too soon and I did not want to cause thinning or anything for my roots by going too soon. So five weeks has been the cadence that I perfectly prefer, that I personally <laughs> prefer and my loctician agrees. In terms of washing my hair, I used to only wash my hair one time, which was right before I would go and get my retightening, actually like the day before I would wash my hair to prepare for my retightening. But I learned that my scalp really needed a lot more moisture. So I started washing my hair probably three weeks in and then right before my retie. So two weeks within a five week process was like perfect for my scalp and my hair. And this process has really taught me how in turn, how much internally I need to be hydrating myself and making sure that I'm drinking lots of water because your hair will begin to look dull if you're not hydrated internally. So if you're dehydrated, your scalp is dehydrated and your hair looks dull and it does not have that beautiful shiny texture to it that my hair has and I am just in love. But it also has taught me how, how much I need to do internally in order to make sure I'm healthy which means my scalp and my hair is healthy as well. Other than that, I do not use anything on my hair. I do try to spritz my hair with water at least every other day to make sure that my scalp is not dry. It is winter right now, so ever since the winter came, my scalp was like, ugh. Oh. So I needed to make sure that I was adding a lot more moisture, which I did, and my scalp and my hair thanks me. <laughs> and my loctician, she says that my hair is growing beautifully. And as you guys can see also in the title, I put, I put that I have a medium density hair, but I have thinner hair strands. So for all of you ladies that might be considering sister locks and you might have thinner hair strands or like lower density hair, this is really good for hair of all types. That's all I have for you guys. Just a quick update. We are now a year in. I cannot wait to see what year two looks like and year three, but I'm going to hold my horses. I'm going to hold my horses. And anything that I decide to do in terms of styles or anything, I will definitely share with my YouTube community. You guys have been with me here with me <laughs> through this year, and I am so appreciative of all of the beautiful comments that you guys leave. And some of you guys have even come over to my Instagram, and we've chatted there. So feel free to join my Instagram community as well. My sister like Instagram will be right here. Feel free to join over there, and we can chat there as well. And you can see more pictures of my hair throughout this journey. And again, I'm just so appreciative of you guys being here on this journey and watching my videos. I really appreciate you. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next update. Have a great year, everyone. 2023 is here. Let's make it a good one. Take care.